Elena. Oh my gosh, what a powerful performance. This, this, is, this film's amazing and you're amazing in it. Uh, first question I have for you though is, this, is a, this must be a difficult role on paper because there's not a lot of communication your character does. A lot of it's through your, through your eyes. Can you talk to me about any kind of training you put yourself through to prepare for this? Yeah, I mean, sure, there was a lot of training. There were three weeks um, every day, one and a half hour of learning Kaiwa. And then also understanding the culture and why she's also not talking and actually not understanding the English language. So uh, it was great and also very funny to play that role because uh, every day on being on set and being, I mean, I think I am a loud person and I'm a person who likes people in public and also speaking. So it was a fun experience to not talk in a movie. <laughs> uh, now your character grew up with the Kiowa tribe. Uh, what did you learn the most about their history and what surprised you the most about their history? Um, so uh, yeah, I did learn a lot about the history and the culture of the Kiowa while preparing the language also. So um, I learned a lot, like for example, that they think in a circle and that they really lived like we would expect, like sitting on the fireplace, singing around, riding horses every day, not going to school, sleeping in tents, like really how you see it in movies, which is so interesting. And also hearing their story of the time when they lose, um, or when they did lose their country and land, which was very, very interesting. And also sometimes very sad because um, I think we should really respect them um, because we as white people took their land, which I think is not that nice. So it was interesting to hear their story. Now, they were also on set for a portion of the film. Can you talk to me about that day and uh, kind of working with them and, and getting to meet a lot of the uh, tribe members uh, in person? Well, um, yeah, it was really fun and great to meet them and also to know how they live and to know um, how they are. Now, you got to act alongside one of the greatest actors of our generation, Mr. Tom Hanks. Is there anything that you learned from him just by watching him work and just by his working, uh, seeing his process? Yeah, sure. Also, one important thing is that um, he really did show me that I should really be kind and nice to everybody. His advice to show up on time, be kind and also know your lines. And then also that you should always uh, like just don't care about the time, just do what helps the others to do the role. Now, can you talk to me about the collaboration process with Paul Greengrass? He's an amazing director and he also adapted yeah. the novel into the screenplay uh, for your guys' script. Can you talk to me just about working with him and how he helped inform your character? Yeah, he's a very great guy. He's very nice and kind. And he's also um, someone who takes my ideas and put them into the story and into the scene if I was confident. And also if I was good, he was good. Now, shooting Westerns historically can be uh, pretty difficult. Can you talk to me about maybe some of the biggest challenges you guys face with uh, the not being able to control the elements and obviously not using a lot of CG in this movie? Well, sure. I mean, uh, it, was, it was a tough shoot. We had a long shoot and we had tough days and long days and also a very interesting days of learning and also acting a lot. So that was great. And, and for me, I have to say, it starts to get work if I need to wait. Sure. So actually for me, lots of working is great. And I always want to stay longer and sad. So I think it's just nice being around people. Helena, you are brilliant in this film. I want to thank you so much for your time and taking the time to talk to me. The film's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you too.